Hey guys, how are you all? And in this video, I'll be showing you how the stirrups are placed at the side. Okay, so let's uh, let us first see how the stirrups are drawn. Okay, it's a 450 by uh, 350 column, and uh, it has got 25 dia bars in two numbers. One over here and another over here and same goes in the opposite side that is 125 dia bars and another 25 dia bars and the rest are 16 5 dia bars and they are in eight numbers so one two three four five six seven and eight okay so uh, this column has three set of stirrups the rule for uh, you know applying stirrup is that every bar should be at the corner of a stirrup okay so one stirrup goes all the way from outside and another stirrup goes um, inside uh, like uh, this and another stirrup is placed diagonally like uh, this all right so now we'll be see uh, we'll see how the uh, stirrups are placed at the side okay so i'm at the site and as you can see uh, this is a 20 mm dia bar this is another 20 mm dia bars and these three are 16 mm dia bars uh, same goes on the other side and this is a 16 mm dia bar so this column is as for the drawing uh, i have shown you earlier okay so uh, this stirrup uh, surrounds the entire column and goes all the way like this and there is another set of stirrup that surrounds these one two and three and four columns and this stirrups also surround one two three and four columns all right so this is uh, one group of stirrups and at a distance of around four inches there is another group of stirrups that uh, surrounds the columns uh, but reverse of the columns uh, similarly okay so this is how the stirrups are uh, placed at the side and uh, the spacing uh, between these two groups depends upon the location in the column and I'll be showing you uh, the location in the doctorate design of uh, column all right so this is all for this video hope this was helpful and if it was hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos thank you